Step 2. Using Trace Reference In this step, we will present ARCHICAD's Virtual Trace Feature Set to display the content of any project view or layout as a ghost behind the active view. This enables designers to coordinate, compare, and modify the design by visually tracing and comparing the active view to the ghost or trace reference behind. This method is similar to placing two tracing papers on top of each other and spotting the differences between them visually. Select the document, Documenting Tools, Create Independent Worksheet menu item to create a new independent worksheet. Independent worksheets are similar to independent details or sections, since they also represent a project viewpoint which is not linked to an existing project marker. In the appearing dialog, enter W1 in the Reference ID field, and enter Columns in the Name field. Click the Create button once you are done, and the new worksheet viewpoint will be created. Switch off Grid Display in the View menu. If the new independent worksheet does not open up automatically, you can also activate it from the Worksheets container of the Navigator project map. Select the Drawing tool from the Toolbox. Click anywhere in the Worksheet view. In the Link to dialog, select the columns from Structural External DWG file from the Chapter 8 folder of this guide. Click the Open button to place this drawing into the Worksheet window. In the Appearing Drawing Unit dialog, select one inch from the pop-up list. Click the Place button to proceed. This drawing has been created by the structural engineers and contains the updated column layout. The architectural design must be updated according to this column layout. To do so, we should first be able to identify the changes. We will use ARCHICAD's Virtual Trace feature to help our work. Switch to the View Map in the Navigator. Select the first preset view in the Using Trace Reference folder of the view map. Activate the Fit in Window option from the Context menu to display the entire drawing on the screen. Select the Window, Palettes, Trace and Reference option to display the Trace and Reference palette. Move the palette to the top left part of the screen next to the toolbox and below the info box. Switch to the project map in the navigator. Select the W1 columns worksheet under the worksheet container. Right click it and select the show as trace reference option from the context menu. Notice that the W1 columns worksheet has been automatically selected as trace reference. First, let's move the trace referenced columns to the exact location in the project model. Click the Drag Reference button on the Trace and Reference palette. Click the lower right corner of the lower right column in the Trace Reference. Move the reference drawing to the lower right corner of the column indicated by Label 1. Activate the Fit in Window option from the Context menu to display the entire drawing on the screen. We will set some colors for easier differentiation. Click the Reference Color button and set it to blue, which is one of the presets. Move the Intensity slider and notice the change in the display intensity of the referenced drawing. Pull it all the way to the right to set it to maximum. Click the Active Color button and set it to red, which is another one of the presets. Pull the Intensity slider, right of the Reference Color button, all the way to the right to set it to the maximum. Switch to the View Map in the Navigator and activate the 8.2.2 .2 Visual Compare Preset View from the View Map. The Structural Consultant has made some notes on the file he sent back to us so we can see where the possible changes are located. The note text at Label 1 states that the column will need to be deleted. Also note the text at Label 2 stating that the other column has to be kept because we need this one on the third floor. Let's check the differences in drawing content between our project and the external information sent by the structural consultant. 
Click the Show Hide Splitter button of the Trace and Reference palette to display the splitters in the floor plan view. Splitter handles will appear in the middle of all four sides of the floor plan viewpoint. These will ease to compare the views visually. You can click any of the splitter handles and drag them across the floor plan view. By moving the splitters, you can peel back the contents of the active floor plan view, similarly to placing two tracing papers on top of each other. You can easily spot differences between the reference and the active drawing contents. Watch the columns at label 1 and 2 in both the active content and the reference. As you've probably noticed, the column at label 1 appears in the active content, but does not appear in the reference, just as the note says. According to our structural consultant, this column is not needed in the design because there is a structural concrete wall coinciding with it that can carry the load. Select the column by shift-clicking it at Label 1. Activate the Delete option from the context menu to delete it. You can activate the Column tool to make the selection easier. Elements of the active tool are always the easiest to select. Activate the next preset view in the view map of the navigator. Now, click the splitter on the left side of the floor plan viewpoint and move it to the middle, then back and forth. Watch the columns at label 1 and label 2 in both the active content and the reference. According to the notes, these columns are not needed because there are other coinciding or nearby structural walls that can carry the load. The drawing data confirms this as the columns are not there in the trace reference. Select the two columns and delete them. The column layout of the architectural design project is adjusted according to the structural consultant's specifications. Click the Trace On Off button in the upper left corner of the Trace and Reference palette to turn off the display of the reference. Notice that the Trace and Reference options can also be controlled from the Trace button and its drop-down list on the standard toolbar. Close the Trace and Reference palette. 